you're out here trying to initially gauge a property, don't settle in one spot. It doesn't make any sense to. You need to get a feel for the geology and the and the, where the gold's running best and everything else. And the only way to do that is to start a hiking and panning and walk and pan and walk and pan. Um, at least this whole property's been pretty easy to walk through. It's either been log recently or it's been nice open bottoms like this. So that's been nice. I'm looking for the next, next good area to pan. Uh, next promising looking spot. And you're generally trying to look for not necessarily always the best spot or the worst spot, but an average spot. Um, because generally from what I've found that is if it's a good gold bearing Creek, you will get gold in almost every pan. Um, with many pans being a decent amount of gold, almost regardless of where you take your pan, especially when you're getting closer and closer to the source, it becomes less and less of a issue of where you pan versus further away. Then as you get further away from the source, then you're your typical placer type deposit stuff comes into play but as you're closer and closer it's less and less and less and less placer type deposit into play it's more just the gold is spread over the entire area but yeah we need to find i'm gonna try and set up right in here somewhere let's take a look up here gonna bulldoze through twigs yeah i like it down there better Okay, back we go. Let's try right in here. We're gonna give it a try. Okay. Let's see what we can find. You stay right here. Digging anything deep in here. It's always nice to get the shovel into some bedrock. Sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't. It's not sinking straight down, so that's always a good sign. Let's take a pan for how it is. Not the best material, but... We're scratching on something hard. I'm pretty sure it could be hard pack. Could be bedrock. Looks like bedrock. Scratched on decomposing bedrock, you can see it here. When you pull it apart, you can see the layers. So this is a decomposing, it looks almost like a phyllite. Uh, decomposing phyllite crenulated schist, maybe. But I mean, you can tell it's uh, <laughs> not much structural left intact to it. That's the good stuff. You want to get your pan, you want to get your shovel into that. It gives you the best average chance of finding good gold is to get in the decomposing bedrock. It's got some epide ooh, that's got some little quartz crystals in it. Nice. We'll take that one home. It's actually got some little hard to see but there's little terminated quartz points right in there then you got some epidote probably some plagioclase and then you got the the phyllites type stuff this did not probably come out of the bedrock right here this is floating down right a little bit that's an interesting little piece with quartz points in it always got to be on the lookout interesting stuff I'm guessing this is not going to be, we might have a few colors in it. Don't know if it'll get mapped as a red dot or a yellow dot yet. One would hope for a green. If 
this stream also has had much more black sand than what the other feeder creek that I was on earlier has had. Not necessarily that it needs more gold or anything. Just something to make mental notes of.